the winners of Best Animated Short Film, War is Over, inspired by the music of John and Yoko, Dave Mullins, and Brad Booker. Please welcome them. Don't get so excited. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Hello. What are we doing here? <laughs> are there questions? Or? Number 309, please. Don't understand what's happening. Please stand Thank up. You. And they'll bring the mic to Hi, you. Hi, 309. Shorts Hard. TV, whoop, whoop. Woo, Shorts yes. TV. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so you start with a very, very famous song as a, as a base to make your film. Did you feel the weight of responsibility? And also, how did you tackle the, the challenge of making such a famous song and make us feel like we're hearing it for the first time? No. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, the song's been played. I think for John and Yoko, it's their most famous song that they've played it's, at this point. It's surpassed Imagine, because yeah. at Christmas it gets... A giant surge, as you can imagine. Yeah. <clears throat> so we had to, you know, we had to take it seriously. I mean, we really just looked at what John and Yoko were trying to say with the song. We had Sean on Lennon as our creative um, uh, executive producer, and um, we just tried to honor the, the anti-war message and try to do it in a creative way that was fun and made you cry. <laughs> yeah. Great. We're now going to number two eighty-four in the back of the room, please. Hi, congratulations, Carlos Aguilar, Roger Ever, that come. Um, I was wondering if is there a takeaway from your film that you think is relevant uh, to the current conflicts going on in the world right now? Well, when we started the film, there were no conflicts. Or there's always conflicts, but the major conflicts that we all track every day were not underway yet. So that was, I think, we met with Sean in June of uh, 21. And then um, Peter Jackson came aboard, like in two weeks after the war in Ukraine broke out, and we finished our film in October of this last year, and that was right when the stuff in Gaza yeah. went completely sideways. So it's crazy that we started this film, you know, kind of look. We 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 felt the message was after 50 years. I, it was actually, the song came out four days after I was born, so I feel very drawn to this, but um, it was very clear that Sean wanted this, to, this message to get back out into the world, and we're very proud that we helped him deliver it. So, Yeah, and I, I think that the, um, the takeaway from it is that, you know, uh, there's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of war, and there's other ways to solve it, and I think that's what John and Yoko were trying to say, is like, Maybe talk a little more, kill a little less. That's the idea, and that's what we tried to show if, in the film. The, if you want it. Like, want it. it sounds naive, but if you want it, we can all make it happen. So. We're now going to go to number 193 with 348 on deck. Congratulations, David from Israel. Just to piggyback off that last question, competing in this race against Letter to a Pig, did you have interaction with the, with the director? Oh, Tal. Of that? Yeah, Tal and Ahmet were amazing. Like, they, we... We became friends with all of the other filmmakers in the nomination, and they were nominated in the category, and right down the line, I mean, really incredible filmmakers. I mean, I mean, Letter to a Pig, 95 Senses, um, Our Uniform, uh, Pachyoderm, like these are all great films, and we're very honored to even be nominated among them. And Tall and Amit, I mean, they're the best. We love them, so yeah. Yes. Forever friends to us. Thank you. We're now going to number 348, number 348 in the front row. Thank you. Susana from Milenio, Mexico. Uh, I believe you have a very international working cast and working people here. And we know that in, in photography, you have a Mexican, Antonio Restra. Could yep. you tell us a little bit about him and the work everybody did? Oh, yeah. Antonio was great. I mean, um, we. We had a, both a, um, a live action cinematographer, which was Antonio, and then we had a digital cinematographer um, for the film. But Antonio was great because early on we talked about exactly, you know, lens kits, like exactly how we wanted to treat, um, the, basically how we're shooting the film to, to get the emotions across. And he was such a great part of that. Um, he, we talked, I mean, we went at length, we had the entire film up at one point, and we were just drawing over the entire film, and like, okay, this is how we want to do lighting, this is how we want to do color. It, it, he was fantastic to work with, and his depth of what the, he has done on live action stages helped inform us in what we were doing on our animated film. So we were very happy to work with him. Final question, number 229. 
in the middle of the room. Sold. No, I just Please announce your name and outlet before asking your question. Thank you. Hi, Nancy Dillon with Rolling Stone. Congratulations. Oh, thank, um, you. thank you. So Sean giving a shout out to his mom. It's going viral. <laughs> you talk about did you know he was going to do that? What did you think of that tribute? It was the whole room saying. We never know what Sean's going to do. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's completely random. Look, he's very charming. He always comes up with the right thing to say. Yeah. And that was the right thing to say. Like, we, we love that family. And we got to meet Yoko recently. So we feel very blessed. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, guys.